Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today I want to talk about a topic that most people in picking and in collecting and uh, buying and selling don't really discuss very often, and that is, it's not all about the money. Now, that's going to sound strange based on watching my other videos, uh, where you might see I'll talk about almost the entire time how I bought this coin, or I bought this piece of jewelry, or I bought this scrap silver item. Uh, for X amount of dollars and I sold it for X plus however many of dollars and whatever my profit was big or small I'll discuss it and I'll be excited about it and uh, Generally when I watch other picking videos, that's what people talk about too They'll say oh, I bought it for five dollars But I could easily flip it for ten dollars or I bought it for ten dollars and I could sell it for two hundred dollars whatever it is uh, people talk about money a lot and I that is obviously appropriate and important to talk about. Money is a very important part of life. Uh, it, can, it helps you with all sorts of things that I don't even need to enumerate just because it's so obvious. But uh, it's not the most important thing. And I think that we all need to take a step back sometimes and remember that before we, uh, you know, when we're so caught up in collecting and buying and selling and trading that sometimes it might be hard to remember that money isn't the ultimate goal. So the reason I wanted to talk about this, uh, in general I also have an idea I'd like to make a video about um, moral responsibility and business, business ethics uh, in regard to picking. Uh, please leave a comment and let me know if you think that, that would be an interesting topic. Uh, I'd like to make videos that you guys enjoy and uh, if you think that a topic of uh, business ethics in regard to picking uh, would be interesting to you, please let me know. But until then, uh, I'm going to tell you a story about why I thought about this, uh, this, this topic. My aunt, my great aunt, it's my father's aunt, uh, my grandfather's sister, told me that she had a coin for me, knowing that I was into uh, coin buying, selling, and collecting. And uh, I came over, and this is what she had for me. I put it in a 2x2. Two two. She gave it to me out of the 2x2, two two, obviously. But if you can tell, this is a 1899S Double Eagle Gold Coin. You can see it under the uh, magnifying glass a little bit better. It is a brilliant, beautiful coin. It is a large coin, for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Here it's in comparison to a dollar bill. It is definitely worth a lot of money. As you can see here on the back, it's really a nice coin. Maybe you can see the S mint mark down there. It's a little tricky on this. But anyway, you can see that this is a beautiful, expensive coin. For those of you who are familiar with it, you all know that whatever uh, gold is at, it's worth just about uh, the spot price. It's worth about $1,500 today. And that is not a small, that is not chump change. That is real money. But I'm not selling it. I have no interest in selling it. I don't plan on selling it. I don't even really plan on keeping it as an investment. Sometimes when something's been in your family, this was my great uncle Otto's, and when he passed away he gave it to my great aunt, Gretel, and she was passed it down to my father. But my father said that uh, I cared more about coins and was more interested in it, and perhaps she would like to give it to me. And she did, and uh, that is how I have it today. Um, I would like to point out that sometimes uh, something that's been in your family as an heirloom is more important and the gesture of someone older in your family who's, cut, who's kept something for such a long time and has valued something so greatly will pass it along to you is more valuable than the monetary value. And I especially want to talk about this for the young viewers I have and the young collectors and the young pickers out there. If you get a coin that was special to a relative, a grandfather, or some, has some sentimental value other than the monetary value or the intrinsic metal value, please, 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 think before you trade it, sell it, or uh, mix it in with your, your general collection. Uh, as you can see on the back of this 2x2, two two, I put a little note here. It says, from my great aunt Gradle, originally my great uncle Otto's. I don't want this to become just a piece of my collection. I want to someday pass this down to my children. And yes, it is a valuable piece of, of gold that, uh, thank God, could come in handy someday if, uh, God forbid, there were some hard times. And that's why it is nice to have some uh, family heirlooms that are also valuable. But in the ideal world, I will never have to sell this. I will be able to pass it down to my children, and my children will never have to sell it, and they'll pass it down to their children. 
And I hope that this video makes you think a little bit before you uh, decide to sell something that just because it has a monetary value that you might otherwise uh, regret having sold when you're older. So specifically for my young viewers, please, please, please think before you sell or trade something that was given to you by a family member. And uh, you know, you can always trade it or sell it later if, if you don't really feel attached to it. But for now, keep it, cherish it, and uh, remember how fortunate you are that you don't have to sell it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments on this topic because it's not a typical picker topic. And uh, again, if you are interested in me talking about uh, moral responsibility or um, business ethics relating to picking, uh, also please leave a comment. And uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please do so. And uh, enjoy, and good luck picking.